If we look past the last hundred years when we invited steam machines and started to burn coal and, and fossil fuels, cheap fossil fuel provided this kind of economic growth for the whole world. We just used energy, cheap energy to make steel and, and machinery and etc. etc. Today now the renewables are cheap. They are, they are now the, the cheapest option and the change has been so rapid that people still think renewables are the expensive one and you need to pay extra for sustainability and those days are over. In the future there is a really good chance that the 100% renewable system, the energy is free. We are known that we make large gas engines or respirating engines, but now we want to understand where the energy world is going, what is happening in this big energy transition and especially we want to push renewables into the power system. So as fast as possible, as much as possible. And we are playing a key role there to integrate renewables as part of the future energy system. We see this globally from United States to Australia, India, China, developing countries, developed countries, where renewables just make financial sense. When you have cheap renewable energy available, you start to think this totally different way. And in the 100% renewable system, we have times when we have excess energy available. The price of electricity will be negative, it will be zero. And that opens a totally different playing field. We can make water from air, we can make fuel from air, we can, we can produce food from air just because we have zero price energy available. And that comes with, together with sustainability. There is no fossil fuels, there is no emissions at all involved. So uh, what is the consequence of this? We will see a lot more renewables and the old paradigm or utility business will change. What is this transition is all about? That it actually gives opportunity for new players to install windmills or solar panels and build different kind of solution and these new players will require the utilities to really change their, their way of thinking. We're gonna see the transition, I would say, next five years, next 10 years that this is gonna leave. We see way more renewables and the path towards 100% renewable system. And the good thing with renewables or energy is that it's typically global. Circumstances are a little bit different when you, when you go from Finland to to, to Africa, for example, but still the prices and the technologies, they are, they are global. So we start every time that we understand the local system. Let's pick Sri Lanka, for example, that how we can pick a path for them where they are today and how they can build optimal path towards 100% renewable future. And, and that starts from understanding the current situation and then we help them doing modeling, doing understanding, demystifying energy basically. We are just providing information about that this is an optimal path if you want to reach 100% renewable system. And then they just start to make the investments, investments in, in renewables, in flexibility, and of course we are then helping them in that path, building optimal power system, and after that of course then providing support, operating that, maintaining the system, and just making sure that everything, everything works. We can draw those paths, but we can also build, we can deliver, we can operate. We can be there together with our customers, together with markets, together with, with, uh, with countries throughout the life cycle of this transition. All the technologies, all the building uh, elements what we need are available today. There's a massive amount of renewables. The whole system will be driven by the weather, not by the fuel cost, but when the wind is blowing and the sun is shining. So massive amount of renewables, massive amount of energy storage, and then massive amount of thermal generation or that kind of backup generation that we have today, what we call flexibility, that is providing the security to the system when the wind is not blowing for a couple of days or it's dark or it's raining, it's a monsoon season in India. Problems are different, but you need to manage the system every second and also between the years. And now, when you have visualized this for Sri Lanka once again, or UK or Finland, then we start to build the path. We need to understand that we are not starting the, starting the game from the empty table. There is always, there is generation, there are investment, there are transmission lines. It would be easy to build a totally new system, but that's not the reality. So we need to start from somewhere. And that's the key point that we make smart investments today that are part of the future 100% system also. Because that provides the lowest cost, and that 
provides also the lowest resistance against this chain. Okay, this actually makes sense. There is no reason to slow down. There is no reason to stop. Actually, nothing will stop this transition, and that's, a, that's the beautiful thing. What we try to do is basically save the world, make this renewable story reality.